Hey YouTube, I hope you guys are doing well. So I have to be up for work in eight hours and I just came back from a 20 hour road trip. So needless to say, I'm just exhausted. Um, so this video is gonna be very raw, unfiltered, a lot different from my usual videos. And the reason I'm making this now instead of waiting till next weekend is because uh, about two days ago I uploaded a video uh, about Mr. Repsion, I, Manuela, and internet bullying. And not even 48 hours later, I received two notifications from YouTube that uh, the video has been filed under a privacy complaint and for hate speech. Okay, well, I was not expecting that. And if it is so, then I'm sincerely sorry to hear that it has happened. I have a no-flag policy on my end, and, you know, I have urged my subscribers in the past not to do that. Um, I also, I didn't know that Google system had changed, because before it used to be if you were flagged for hate speech, that was it. It was removed from public instantly. You could then, you know, file a counterclaim but it wasn't viewable from public. Uh, this was what happened to Rats' video, which, wait a second, Rats' video was only a couple of weeks ago, so it would have been nice if you provided some, you know, photos of these com uh, claims, etc. Um, I'm not saying it couldn't be, but from my experience with the system, it doesn't exactly match up, so yes, that would have been nice. Greetings and welcome there people of YouTube, this is Essence of Fortune, of course I'm doing another video response to State of Daniel, this time on his video, Debunked, State of Daniel vs Essence of Four. So, let's get straight into it. And so these cases are being investigated at the moment, and even though I feel like I've done nothing wrong, I have this strong suspicion uh, that the video is going to be removed, so I did want to reply to some criticism before that happens, and in particular I wanted to reply to Essence of Thought. Well, I hope either way that your counterclaims do go through because I don't want people to get struck off YouTube yet. You've got three strikes, but still one towards that three is bad because if you are struck off YouTube and forced to close your account, that's not beneficial to me because currently you're a great source for me to do response content to and you're quite easy to do. So you know, it's not beneficial to me, much better for me to keep you around. And I'm happy that you finally got round to doing a video response to me, considering the other case. So yes, let's get to it. A lot of you guys have been pointing me to his channel. Uh, a lot of people uh, showed me the video that he made in response to me. Um, and Essence of Thought has actually replied to my videos before, and the reason I've never really addressed him is because I, I, I didn't feel the need to, to be honest. I feel like I'm talking to a smart audience, an audience that... Uh, knows how to read in between the lines and that I don't have to consistently defend myself. Um, and plus, I feel like he's more like the essence of ad hominem attacks. Um, and so I just didn't feel the need to reply. Right, safety off, all systems locked. I mean, ouch. <laughs> also, what is up with this people obsessing with my names? I, I don't get it, you know. I've explained this before, my name was the whole point of I'm trying to seek the essence of thought, trying to obtain it, that's what I'm trying to get to. So, you know, I'm not claiming I am it, so... Anyway, as for the ad hominem attack, it's only ad hominem if, you know, rather than making an argument, I just insult you. For example, I just say, you're a liar. That's it. It's not ad hominem if you make an argument, I then go, okay, well, he's lying here, play a clip of you saying something, play a clip of the video that you're talking about, and it shows the exact opposite to what you said, and therefore go, this is a lie. You know, that's not ad hominem. You know. And then afterwards, if I want to keep coming back and reminding people that they've lied, and they've been shown to have lied in their videos, that's my right. The fact is, I better have backing to do that. It only becomes ad hominem if I don't have that backing. So, yeah. But, uh, since everyone's asking, I figured I would. Let's take a look at what he has to say. We all know what's coming, we've seen your style before. In books, those things that you may have heard about, we call this referencing. Conservatives have major issue dealing with any criticism of any kind. Conservatives have been so shit at their recording capabilities. We don't care about the insults, because quite frankly, IE was insulting in her video. The Bible is no source for morality. Now let me play you a little clip from a video to show you what a fucking liar you are. So Daniel, you've been caught lying and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the last time. Why are Christians, especially conservative Christians, so against the idea of people making up their own decisions? Confused? Pretty much actually, yeah, because there's one case in particular I want to go in and deal with and that's behind the whole 
we don't care about the insults, as there was some pretty interesting stuff I said either side of that, so if we can please play the clip. But as for the trolls who went and commented on I, Manuela's video, me, Mr. Repsion, and the other content makers have all spoken out against the threats. We don't care about the insults, because quite frankly, IE was insulting in her video. But as for the threats, we have all spoken out against them unanimously. So, your comment about the content makers being responsible is completely moronic. Your liar license has been fully redeemed, Daniel, just so you know and you can collect it. This is the difference between you and I. I show the entirety of your video, except for that clip at the end, which I did acknowledge I didn't show. And I go through your entire argument and pull it apart, therefore allowing my viewers to make an informed decision as to what was said by both parties, therefore they make an informed choice when they go to your video and dislike it or like it or comment. You know, I like to give my viewers the credit and let them decipher for themselves what's happened. Honesty can go a very long way, Daniel. So am I. Now I'm going to link to Essence of Thought's video down below, just to warn you it's about 20 minutes long, and like I said, I don't have the time or the energy to reply to every single comment. No, it means that you don't have the urge to give my arguments in their full and raw state to your viewers, as you don't share that same honesty or respect for them as I do for mine. You know, there's a reason I reference you as a quote mining shit. That's because that's how you operate. You will go digging and skewing things to make it look like it supports your position. Just because something hurts your feelings doesn't mean it isn't true. Sometimes the truth hurts. You could always have done the video in segments like I've done to previous videos and responding to them. But no, you wouldn't want to do that because then you couldn't clip my arguments to cheat the game. Plus, I still stand by most of my original video, so I don't feel the need to reply to every single argument that comes in. And I want to let you guys decide which argument you think is stronger. Except you're going to do that by providing only clipped quotes from me. In response to me saying that a lot of atheist content creators use their YouTube platform as a bullying pulpit, Essence of Thought had this to say. You mean like Fox News, an actual news network who regularly tells people that atheists should get out of the country or atheists do not have any moles? You mean like them? Regularly tells people this? Um, okay, I'll, I'll give you a point for having a British accent, but that's about it. Uh, the words that you quoted, I believe, are the words of Dana Perino, and so you have to remember that uh, these are the opinions of individual hosts, guests, contributors, and not the opinions of the news network itself. If you go to any news network, you're going to see a host of opinions, some of which are offensive, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the platform of the network. No, actually, it was multiple individuals, and it has been going on for a very long time. These individuals do include Bill O'Reilly himself. And it just goes so far back with all of the right-wing nutters they get on there and what they say. You know, and the more recent fiasco, which isn't about atheism, but the whole calling to shoot Satanists because they want equality to Christians? Oh, isn't that ironic, you know? So, no, I don't respect what you just stated. There's also a huge difference between the YouTube platform and uh, TV network platform, and that difference is that the creators are a lot closer to the actual audience on YouTube. Uh, creators regularly engage viewers, viewers engage each other, so drawing a comparison like that is almost a masked man fallacy. Right, well, the masked man fallacy, or what has become known as the masked man fallacy, deals with a very basic concept, and that is, you know, if X has a set of attributes that define X as being X, and then Y, you know, doesn't share these attributes, then X cannot be identical to Y, or X cannot be Y, you know. Uh, this was then designed into a whole argument. Premise 1, I know who Jones is. Premise 2, I do not know who the masked man is. Therefore, the conclusion is the masked man isn't Jones. However, this just shows that, you know, it's based off the ignorance of the person to know that the masked man is Jones. That is therefore a fallacious argument. Um, but the main problem with this, really, is that it only works when you argue X is Y, or X is identical to Y. I never argue they were identical. In fact, 
quite the opposite because if you actually watch my argument my point was actually quite the opposite i was pointing out you christians really need to stop bitching because compared to us you know nothing here you are complaining about a small time youtube atheist compare that to us having to deal with you know actual news outlets on a regular basis making attacks upon us and trying to ostracize us from society so your entire argument falls flat on its face and is based off a complete lack of understanding well done in response to my comment about APS coming to thumbs down videos essence of thought had this to say the reason ratings are there is for the video to be rated if it has low ratings guess what the video is rubbish I Emanuela's video was rubbish your video is rubbish so you know don't complain about that now I certainly don't think my videos are rubbish and I hope that my audience and subscribers agree now obviously if you look at my most recent videos I have more dislikes than likes but the only reason that is is because of the YouTube content creators who take the time to make video responses to me and I actually have a lot of uh, video responses coming in and of course their audiences are already on the other side of the political and religious spectrum so it's a very unlikely that any video I make can change their mind so when they come in of course they're gonna dislike the video yeah uh, and in particular, this video uh, that I made criticizing internet atheists and online bullying and Mr. Repsian, uh, in only 48 hours, there have already been four, four video responses that I know of, there might be more, to that video. So if you look at that, there are already more dislikes than likes, and that's not because my uh, subscribers disagree with me, but that's just because so much traffic, outside traffic, is being redirected inwards. Just cut out that part where I talk about how Christians have done exactly the same, because that is not important at all, is it? No. You know, also, on the flip side, if your video was amazing or astounding, it would have been shared a lot of times by people who liked it. Take, for example, my video response to that video. That has been shared like crazy, you know. It has done nearly twice as well as my previous video. So, yeah, it does go both ways. But is it possible that IE's video and your own video has been rated down because of the content being so poor. For example, you know, the way that IE was extremely hateful, but she tried disguising this hate as love. And then you came along and I have shown you to have lied at almost every single corner. Do you think that could possibly be responsible for all the dislikes you have got? You know, your actions do have consequences. So when you lie to people, yeah, the people who want to be lied to will go, oh, great video, etc. But then when someone comes along and challenges that and proves how you have lied, <laughs> you're going to get a lot of, you know, strike back from that. Just saying. Also, this was kind of a very minor point. It was just kind of a stab at you that really has no relevance to defending IE from the public shaming she received for the hateful and bigoted things she said. Sadly, when it comes to Christians, in my experience, they generally also use something known as sock account, i.e. fake ones, to multiply the number of dislikes that they give. So, yeah, it's really hypocritical. It's kind of funny, earlier in your video you made fun of me for maybe not knowing what a book is, when you uh, should probably check the dictionary the next time you use the word hypocritical, because that did not make sense in its context. Then let me explain this for you. Christians do the exact same things, yet I would also argue on my personal experience, do them in a more devious manner. However, you're not speaking out about them, you're not going on about how, you know, oh, we Christians should be held to the same standard, you're going, no, you atheists have to do this. But Christians, you know, we don't really have to. Therefore, you are setting a different set of moral standards for the atheists to the Christians. Therefore, it is hypocrisy. Simple enough. I went on to make this point known and quite clear when I asked where were the Christians when the Cartesian theists did the exact same to me. So, yeah, it was clear in my video. Um, and no offense, but you're not that big of a YouTuber, neither am I, but uh, you're not, I don't know why you would think that Christians would take the time to create fake accounts to thumbs down your videos and it doesn't even make sense when most of yours have a positive ratio anyways. <laughs> Um, 
I actually uh, receive almost on a weekly basis comments like this um, of people telling me that they're literally just checking me out to thumbs me down without even watching my videos, and I doubt uh, that you get any comments like that. You mean the people who were making fun of you because they'd watched your entire video, knew you had gone on about people downvoting without watching the video, therefore wanted to make fun of you and troll you by stating we had not watched and downvoted the video. The only way they could have known to comment about having not watched and downvoted the video was if they had watched and then decided to downvote the video. <laughs> oh my god, you are so... you are pure troll bait. Not to mention an idiot. So, your comment about the content makers being responsible is completely moronic. Tell me, where did he ask for an army of trolls to go over there and mess her up? Can you please show me that clip, or just stop lying? Okay, to reply to that, I'm gonna go on a tangent, but I promise I have a point. I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite people ever, Sarah Palin. Now, I'm going all the way back to the 2010 midterm elections, when Palin put targets on a map, because targets are words that you commonly hear in campaigns. These politicians are gonna target a certain demographic, target a certain geographical area. And so, um, Sarah Palin put several targets on a map. One of them was over a district in Arizona, which belonged to Gabby Giffords. And uh, there was this horrible shooting at an event, and Gabby Giffords was shot in the head. And in the media aftermath of that, the entire liberal media basically started blaming Sarah Palin for attempted uh, murder. Uh, even though she obviously wasn't the shooter, they said that her violent rhetoric violent rhetoric, uh, was directly contributed to uh, the shooting, which of course is false because it turns out the shooter was more of a liberal and maybe even communist, anarchist, whatever, and uh, didn't even follow Palin, but it didn't matter. They, uh, they said because of Palin's rhetoric, uh, which is so fear-mongering and hateful and blah blah blah, that um, she was partly responsible for Gifford's um, attempted assassination. False, false, and false, you see? The shooter was registered as an independent, firstly. Secondly, yes, he was described as a liberal by an old classmate during his school years or his younger life. Then he went through a change and things got a bit more unstable. Which is my third point, he was schizophrenic and because of this, you know, his views and his positions were changing all the time. He was a very unstable individual. However, the point is that, you know, Gabriel Giffords was receiving hate mail following Palin releasing her map and even death threats from conservatives. That is what acted as the basis for the idea that maybe, you know, he was one of them. Whether he was or wasn't is not known. Of course, uh, that isn't true, but the liberal media was a little bit onto something in that public figures have a lot of responsibility on their shoulders. They're role models, and that's a responsibility that shouldn't be taken lightly. When you look at Mr. Repsion, he is a role model. Uh, he's not a major YouTuber, but... Wait, aren't you the guy who said I committed a fallacy by comparing Mr. Repsion to Fox News, which I never did. I was pointing out how Fox News was even worse, so Christians, please stop your bitching. You are not being persecuted. Now, you are going to compare... Mr. Repsion to Sarah Palin's campaign. And by the way, you're going to attempt to equate her campaign with the actual person herself. Double standard much. He's bigger than most, for sure. At 200,000 subscriptions, you have a lot of online influence and power, and that's responsibility that lies on his shoulder. I also think you need to check out your definition of the word lying, because I didn't know such thing, and if the video is still standing, people can go see that for themselves. Uh, you're putting words into my mouth. I never once said that Mr. Repsion told his subscribers to go to I Emanuela's channel and mess her up. Really? Shall we take a look? Based on that clip, you'd think Mr. Repsion would know better than to incite his viewers to leave hateful and vulgar comments and redirect them to a girl who is obviously speaking from a place that she considers to be love and conviction. The definition of incite means to encourage or stir up, right? Therefore, it would read that, you know, you think Mr. Repsion would know better than to encourage his viewers to leave hateful and, you know, vulgar comments. That's how it would read. You then go on later to add, and, you know, um, redirecting them to this girl. So, 
by the end, I can only take it to be a different action. You are actually stating that he did suggest that people go and leave vulgar and hateful comments. That's all I can do. However, if you mean inciting in the sense that he left the link down below, I can say the exact same thing about Palin's map and all the hate mail that she received, regardless of whether or not the shooter was in fact following that map as well. So yeah, what is this about checking my definition of lying? Uh, what I was saying was that he was definitely inappropriate um, and on maybe even on the verge of sexual harassment uh, in, in his tone, in his content, in the way that he responded to her video. Um, and so th that really was a lot of the basis of my video. This does not explain how he incited hatred towards IE any more than IE incited it on herself. And again, yes, I understand that many YouTubers link to other videos. I do that myself. The difference, though, is, again, with 200,000 subscribers, you have to be careful about uh, the way you use your influence and the topics you choose to cover. And if you do a response video, you should be careful about the videos that you end up responding to. Sorry, no, I don't buy it. You see, this point was made by several people in response to my video. If Mr. Vepsion had not linked to the original, there would have been a total uproar about this. People would have been going nuts about how he did not want people to see the original person's view and their perspective, and therefore, you know, he's a dishonest, lying atheist. So either way, you Christians were going to get pissed off. He just took the academically honest route, which is more sound with the actual honest people. So, yeah. Again, why are conservative Christians so against letting people make up their own bloody mind. As for tolerance, tolerance isn't what you and your conservative buddies think. It is not censorship or criticism. Tolerance means we tolerate you. We tolerate your view. <sighs> I hate that word. Uh, tolerate. Tolerance. It's just stupid. Uh, you don't tolerate people. You know, you go into a bathroom where someone just took a giant crap. You tolerate the smell, you know. You go to a grocery market um, where there's a long line. You tolerate waiting in line. You To say that you tolerate other human beings and use that tone of voice and say it in that sort of way is um, very, very demeaning. And I don't think it does your cause any good um, at all. And I don't think that cutting the clip short is going to help your position at all either. So please play the full clip. As for tolerance, tolerance isn't what you and your conservative buddies think. It is not censorship or criticism. Tolerance means we tolerate you. We tolerate your view. We do not go out to threat you, just as none of the content makers supported the threats that were made. But that does not mean you will not be insulted, that you will not be called out for your bullshit, that you will not be challenged. That again is censorship, and it's quite amazing to see this double play with you and Ratsy Boy on how, oh, it's the Liberals trying to censor us, when no, the only people trying to do any censoring here are you guys. That's what really amuses me. Ah yes, cut out the part where I attack the people that made the death threats and point out how none of the other content makers supported and most of us have actually spoken out against those death threats. Let's just cut that part out because it's not important at all and it doesn't make me look any less of a scumbag. I also want to point out that in your video you're treating me as though I was defending I. Emanuel's content when I clearly was not. I clearly stated that I disagreed with most of her positions, that I did not condone the videos, though I didn't specify exactly what I did and didn't agree with. I made that very clear. So if anyone here is lying, it's not me, it, it would be you because I made that very, very clear. I only respond to what you say in your video. That is why my style is superior in academic honesty because I show your argument in the right order from beginning to end, except minus that little bit that I clipped out. But I stated I have cut this bit out because it is junk. You can go see it. Now I show the argument in its entirety, then go on to pull it apart. You know, you say I e didn't do this or that. I show a clip where she does. Therefore, I conclude you are a liar. So how can I lie when I show your entire argument 
and make a rebuttal of that entire argument, and people can see what you actually said. It doesn't make any sense. Please explain this to me. Um, what I was railing against was um, the slandering, the bullying by viewers, uh, Mr. Repsion's inappropriate tone, and stuff like that. I also noticed that you didn't link my video, even though you linked Ratsy Boys, and my videos completely dismantled Ratsy Boys. But I can understand why, because, well, my video showed Ratsy Boy and Derez and his followers to be complete and utter liars. As sense of thought, I get a lot of response videos on a weekly basis. You are not the center of my universe, and maybe that's why I didn't link to your video. That sounded a lot more mean than I meant. Oh, don't worry. You know, the truth always will have a way of coming around and bitch slapping you in the face, Daniel. And, you know, I just don't want to be fake and lie to my viewers. I let them see my emotions. I let them know what I think of you. I started off quite calm, and actually I was slightly sad to hear that you have been flagged. If that is true, I have to keep reminding myself of that because I was so sad. You know, so, yeah, and then I got angrier the further and further I got in. I admit that. I'm human. It's my anger. It's part of me. There's nothing wrong with anger. There's wrong with harm, but nothing wrong with anger. So yes, as for what you were fighting against, allow me to play a little clip which was repeated, you know, throughout my video, but I summed up possibly in the best at the end of my video that you quite clearly didn't watch because, guess what? It deals with just that. So let's play that clip now. However, I.E. was an idiot, more specifically, a hateful idiot who could actually cause harm in the long run. You see, as an LGBT activist, I have to acknowledge the fact that it is people like her who prolong the shelf life of homophobia in the excuses that they use about homosexuality being on par with raping children or gunning them down. These excuses are the very excuses that are then used by other people, i.e conservative right-winged Christians to try and excuse the brutalization of LGBT members or sometimes even murdering them. Get told a lie enough time from enough point, you will start buying it. However, IE can just turn off her computer, walk away. LGBT members cannot just turn off who they are and get away from you guys. That's why we have to fight this aggressively. This can't keep going on. It needs to be dealt with. So, yeah, there's that factor. Nice, so you left out one of the main points of my videos. Great, because that's going to go well for you. I mean, Daniel, you just dig yourself deeper and deeper, and why do you lie? Why do you quote mine? You know I can just go get the old videos, and show you to be lying. It makes no sense. So yes, this is the end of the video, except for the whole state of Daniel, you know, subscribe and stuff at the end, so... Anyway, this is Essence of Thought, please don't forget to share, like, and all the rest, you know the story. Yeah, I got an exam tomorrow. So yes, this is Essence of Thought, take care, and out.